Michael, but your mask covers like half your face, so as it should. I won't make the comment. I almost said it. Stop. <laughs> all right, here <laughs> we they go. They don't all look the... Anyway, <laughs> Incineroar, Diddy Kong. Um, I mean, it's, it's one of those matchups where Incineroar is surprisingly quick. You know, you always think of heavies being really, really slow. Incineroar is heavy, hits hard, but it's also really fast. He's not fast in that, like, he's moving on the ground fast, but, like, his hitboxes are big, yeah. and, like, he can threaten you in ways that are a lot quicker than you would expect for a character this size. You don't get to react caliber. to the swings. Exactly, exactly. And you don't really get to react after a lot of the times, too. Like, some of those aerials are mad obnoxious to punish. They're so safe. Yeah, some of them are pretty hard to punish. I'm still wondering who created this character. I'm going to be honest with you. If Incineroar had a fast run speed, he would be... The character would be an issue. It's already, already an is. issue. Yeah, already is. Did, did you not see how far we are in the bracket? Yeah, facts. But that's uh, partially due to the uh, talent of Wood, a character that we've been seeing a lot out here and has shown that the game knowledge transfers over on and off the mic. Joje kind of getting slapped up a bit in that early stock, but uh, already at 117%. So Joje can definitely clean this up with just a banana toss into uh, Smash Four. Attack. Probably forward smash, probably maybe up smash at this percent. Yeah, up smash is it's possible. Definitely now though, 154, good stuff. What's the Edgar attempt gonna be? Goes for the F tilt, not able to hit it down tilt. You can't get up, not quite yet. The forward air going to take it. Good stuff coming in from Joe J. All right, it's gonna be a big punish opportunity. Gets that delayed up air for an extra back air. Quick little 34. Why does every early string in this game from a top tier do like 34? And then like you reset neutral ish. It's I was talking to someone about that earlier. It's like I said anywhere to between 30 and 50. Yeah, yeah. Like well, that's all a the big range. I was thinking like 30 to 40 for that early interaction. Like, I, maybe I'm just used to seeing like Wolf down throw, dash, or forward yeah, air, down throw, dash. Yeah, he's at 33%. Yeah. But Diddy can do more. Olimar can do more. Ice Climbers can do more. Um, I was saying top two. Oh, my fault, my fault. Diddy can do more. Yeah. I'm glad we acknowledge Olimar, not a top tier. <laughs> I never said anything about Olimar. That's a conversation for another day. Whoa! Right now, we got hands coming through from this big cat. And bold recovery that actually ends up working out well for JoJo. Yeah, are you going to do it again? Nope, going to the this time. Wood actually running back preemptively to try to scout it out. Good grab right there. JoJo struggling on this right side of the stage, trying to get up. Man's to do it. Got the down tilt into the back air. Good stuff. What's the edge guard, though? You're not done quite yet. Wolf, or excuse me, Wood, Wood re grab. Yeah, Wood could have let that upper um, uppy rip, and JoJ would have been smoked for it. I think that might be in his mind for uh, later on, but JoJ reacting appropriately gets that up tilt, keeping it pretty clean. So let's see. All right. Big damage. 34. Mm. Yeah, okay, 37. See what I mean, though? Oh, no. Okay. Well, Diddy can actually do a conversion into barrels. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no one does that. Oh, that killed. What are you? Psh, psh. Okay, you do that. No, I don't. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> so no one does that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have it. <laughs> but I've seen on Twitter enough to know there's people that do it. Twitter isn't real. If there's one thing that the last year and a half proved. That Lariat's intangibility lasts just so long. Yeah. It's one of the biggest denial moves out there. Thing is, it's mostly upper body intangibility if memory serves. So you can still hit it low, but good luck. Those arms in the front are still swinging. Oh, oh nice pick up. Swinging. Show J right now. Flawless. It was set up. Okay, got the down tilt. Good stuff. Oh, but runs into the lariat. Wood still has a chance. This could be big. You got Joe J off stage. What's the Edgar attempt? Tries to hit it. Not able to do it. Gago stage control. I don't know if you're coming back. Oh, and Joe J taking full advantage of it. That might be the nail in the coffin. Yeah, you can drop that banana at the ledge, but the banana's gone. Oh, but that time, Wood bet it all. Wood bet it all. Yeah. He bet that he would get that, but Wood did not Wood. Wood. Yeah. How much Wood Wood Chuck Wood Chuck Chuck Wood? Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough that time, it seems. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. But jo Joe J brought an axe. An <laughs> axe to a wood fight. <laughs> Wasn't fair. <laughs> All right. But, I mean, Wood doing a good job keeping that close. Joe J, the cleaner kill confirms the whole way through, though. And that's the thing that makes a big difference. Joe J able to stay a bit more composed in those 11th hours. All right, so let's see, game number two. Going to Battlefield, normally people do, like see big bodies and they're like, okay, I'm taking you to Battlefield. But that time the script was flipped a little bit there. Yeah, it's because it's blue Incineroar. That's different, you know? 
but still red. It'd be a whole other story. Oh, this could be huge. Not able to get it. Actually trading places right there. Joje actually gets up with relative ease. Does the side B. I'm really surprised Wood wasn't prepared to punish it. It's kind of a classic way that Diddy's like to recover off the ledge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What so are we going to do? Every, every Incineroar wants the Alolan Wood. Valid. You're all valid. But also, like, it's a little telegraphed. Okay, but that time gets to neutral air, some big damage there. And I think that interaction right there might put the fear of the banana into Joje. Apparently not, not enough to stop that interaction from happening. Yeah. Joje but, immediately came right back and said, here's another banana. Yeah, but those high percents, it could spell disaster. Oh, Whoa. it already does. Already and does. And the look on Joje's face, leaning forward, eyes huge, looking like a cartoon right there. Could not believe it. Yep, been there. At this point, when you explode to a Lolan Whip, I understand. I, it just kind of happens. If you're above 90, just, I always assume I'm going to die to it. Oh, you took 32 for that. Was it worth it? But a miss from Wood, actually. That was definitely punishable. Missed opportunity, and Joe J is making Wood pay for it. 51% tack on. How are you getting up? The Nairs are coming through. Doesn't connect, fortunately, for Wood, because you know the down air is following afterwards. Yep, absolutely. But now, let's see how Wood can reestablish some control right now, because this is... On paper, what happens to most big bodies on this stage? You get trapped on a platform, you end up in jail, and you pay so much in taxes just to uh, get out of there. Good recovery that right there by so Wood, good. actually. Yeah, poking that up air right over to try and clear the ledge a little bit, though. Joje hip to all of it, but maybe press the issue a bit. That forward smash might be saying, like, okay, I just need you to be dead now because Rage Incineroar is deadly. Yeah, that should be free. Yeah. And a little bit of charge. Almost surviving, though. Actually, yeah. I wonder if maybe an up smash would have been better? Or ah. roll to the other? I don't know. And how do you do it? Joe J just sneaking by narrowly. I think it's because Wood was facing the wrong way. Those arms dip down a little bit lower in the front. Wrong part of the merry-go-ride. Exactly. And now, I mean, both of them slowing it down a little bit more. Uh-oh. That monkey flip kick is kind of a committal option, though. Ooh, get up attack. Nice get up attack, yeah. Sometimes you do have to be bold against the center or go for things that are a little bit unsafe on paper, but like when you can steal away options from um, Incineroar, it wins you the long game. Right now, Joje kind of getting kicked across the stage, left, right, and center, but ends up on the left side, dropping that stock. Yeah, Joje was on borrowed time anyway. That's why I was also going 50% ago. But the more important thing is that Wood is actually still in this. Oh, Ooh. the down air. Joje, though, was on stage. That could have been so ridiculous if Joje was just pixels to the right. Yeah. Could have ended up in disaster. Uh-oh, speaking of disaster. Oh, you got kicked for like 30%, bro. <laughs> kicked you in your chest. Yeah, throw, <laughs> throw, throw something else at me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and a little bit of taunt. Power up. He's a wrestler, man. He got to sell to the crowd. Oh, okay. Don't get side beat. Be, went for it. Ooh. Got the Lariat instead. That's still so much damage. He, he could have just countered again. Could have actually ran up to either the, the peanut. I mean, I'm sorry, the banana coming back down or to the side B. But considering how game one ended, I don't blame Wood for double thinking that um, like counter at these higher percents. Oh, that's a re-grab. Joje fearlessly getting up. So much patience again. Now the onus is on Joje to get anything done, but Woo! you I, exploded. I think that DI, I think he was trying to uh, like full send that uh, banana to the right and end up DI, DI and wrong for it. Granted, Incineroar Nair is pretty strong. He might have just been dead outright. It's but, possible. I didn't know. Definitely flew fast. Yeah. The sweet spot is like just pretty, pretty strong straight up. All right. But game number three, we've been seeing a few game number threes today. Lucky so threes. It's like the Charmed ones. The what? Charmed? You, you never watched Charmed? Was that the one on like the WB or CW? Yeah. They have a remake. The remake's awful, but oh, still. Dang, that sucks. Uh, Everything, every remake on the CW is low-key trash. Every show on the CW is low-key trash, but I still be watching Charmed Flash. Was good. Okay. <laughs> Look, Flash, Flash is, Flash you want to know what? <laughs> Shows like Flash and Lucifer annoy me because you watch a season and you know it's trash, but you felt like because you started it, you just you just owe it. You're just like, well, I'm like six seasons in now. I might as well. Flash got me for eight. How many <laughs> how many more can they do? <laughs> yeah. You know, how many more can they do? More apparently. I, I'll probably go back. It's a fun show, but watching the background. But this is something that uh, deserves my full attention. I like Arrow. Arrow stopped. 
Because it got so bad. <laughs> so, Flash has been there. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Game number three. Yeah. Tell of the tape, if you will. Slight advantage right now from Wood. Feels a little more than slight, though, because of how hard Incineroar hit. Jojay has his work cut out for him. Definitely starting to even out that percentage just a little bit. Banana hits. No follow-up, though. Knees coming in, though, from Wood. How are you getting up? You saw Wood already setting up for the side. Be punished, but actually just last second went too close and got caught off guard. I'm waiting for Wood to stand at the ledge, run back, monkey flip this is, and then just counter. And then JoJ will explode. I wonder. Yeah, because JoJ's been monkey flipping off the ledge many times. Might it doesn't have to part, though. If you do it near the end, does it still grab? It like if you're standing like near the end of the Oh um, no, no, it won't, it won't like do the teleport thing. Yeah. That. That's what I'm anticipating, but right now, JoJo with banana hand, scared. dash dancing. I that platform won't be there forever. Yeah, I'm, I'd be a little bit shook. You're 119, but it doesn't feel like it. It's supposed to be able to live for a while, but the Diddy is coming Ooh. and the Lariat is coming for the Diddy. Right on cue, just what taking that stock. And JoJo again, going for Force Smash. And fun fact about the Lariat, you actually can't block all the hits if you, if you start to near you, because it will just break your shield. You have to do something in between the hits. Normally, you can like spot dodge uh, the last like two-ish hits and get a good punish, but that was such an unorthodox way to recover that Wood did up being that high up, but it put him in such a fantastic position mm -hmm. and just really starting to run away with things. Finally, the upbeat enough to do and center her in. But I mean, there was so much energy. Alexa plays the Jaws theme, but. You can actually get rid of the revenge stacks if you land a throw on Incineroar. That requires you to be close enough to Incineroar to throw, which is horrifying. But if you if you can fight those demons, you can uh, come ahead a little bit in those scenarios. I mean, JoJ has been fighting some demons and looking like he's winning. I don't know the god he's praying to, but he's definitely looking out bit by bit. All right, but. Uh -oh. Grabs, nothing's gonna kill here. Yeah, up there on Town City, not gonna do it quite yet. Just such a bad position though. Yeah, the banana's there, but does it really matter? Now when it's behind, unless you can get behind too, as JoJ does just that. Back uh -oh. throw or down throw, missing up the big. DI. Are we gonna go for a <gasps> another one? And JoJ does get the punish though. We don't know where that banana is. Yeah. The ghost banana, it still there. It blended into the left side. I actually, Cause it was player one, uh, I actually didn't even see it. Cause the red background. Wood actually didn't go for a side B. Didn't matter, still took the stock. JoJ was looking back at one of the demons off screen, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but managed to kill another demon with that back air. All right, final stock. This is getting closer and closer. I mean, I feel like at, at these high percents, it's more on JoJ. Sure, you just have like sub banana, but it's just so scary to fight against a heavy character with the horsepower of Incineroar and come out ahead and take the risk that you need to come out ahead sometimes. Absolutely. Wow. No one got, like, it's just weird that nothing proc the counter in that scenario. Yeah. Everything's kind of slowly went over Wood's head right there. Let's see if JoJo can make anything with this banana happen. Jo or Wood playing very patiently. If Wood keeps jumping around when the banana is pulled, I think on reaction, Wood might be able to actually uh, do the revenge. Yeah. And that was the situation I was just talking about uh, a little bit earlier. Like running back, monkey flip range. That's a revenge. If uh, Wood can replicate that, I think he might have this in the bag. However, JoJ doesn't want to be on the oh, legend that scenario. That was so smart right there. I have a banana. You're going to want a shield. Here's a grab instead. OK, banana's out of play for now. As JoJ mounts an offensive, gets the banana in his hand. And Wood playing so patiently when the banana's out. JoJ finally has an answer with the air to air. This might kill. This very well might do it. That is it as Wood takes it 2 1 over JoJ. Such a solid performance from Wood. It, it, it felt like JoJ was just going to kind of trample over Wood if you watched the first game. But Wood, beautiful adjustments, comebacks when it was needed, really displaying that patience that's needed in top eight in managing to take a victory over JoJ. Yeah. You love to see it, or you hate to see it if you're a fan of JoJ. But regardless, I mean, I'm just here for some good Smash Brothers. Yeah. That's all I want at the end of the day. Two strong players going at it.
That's what I live for as a commentator. That's why we're here. Yep. That's why we're here, baby. That's why I still come here every Tuesday, to be completely honest.